Hello all, in this third video of DWIN touch display series, we will see how to control a 4 channel relay board which is used in home automation. We have 4.3 inch basic touch display of resolution 480 by 270. We have to solder the TTL pins and we need a SD card. Maximum 16 GB is only supported. We make use of a 4 channel relay board which is low enabled relay board. That is when low is provided, relay will be on and Arduino is used and an external power supply. Final result of the project is like this. When you touch on the uh, corresponding uh, relays, relays will on and off. So let us open the DGS software, DWIN graphic utility software. Before that, we have to make, keep ready the our images and icons. I am having two images in 32 folder and uh, two icons in 42 folder. Click on new and then set the resolution minus 480 by 270 and set the path of the project. Now first we have to create the font using the font generator. Now inside the folder you can see dwin underscore set folder is created automatically. Create, click on font generator, adjust the size of the uh, display and then click on generate now dot hzk file is generated copy this and uh, paste it inside the dwin underscore set folder next is the picture conversion tool open this set the resolution to 480 to 270 select the pictures we have two pictures select these images note the naming of the images 00 and 01 dot bmp and then click on convert store this inside the uh, project folder next is the icl generator click on icl generator to generate compressed images select pictures we have two images inside the project folder select these two images and click on generate icl now save this file as uh, 32.icl under the dwin underscore set folder no other naming is allowed we have to uh, give the naming as 32.icl next uh, again select pictures and then select the two icons we have two icons under the 42 folder select these two icons and click on generate icl this time store the file as 42.icl icon file as 42.icl and uh, image file as 32.icl inside the dwin underscore set folder uh, then click on the add symbol and uh, add the two images that is a uh, converted images 480 by 270 resolution images download these two images inside the project on the first image we have got a hand icon in this uh, use the touch control basic touch and draw a box over this uh, hand icon to the right hand side is the properties uh, of this touch set the page switching to next page so, uh, click on set and uh, under the page switching select the second image that is a one dot bmp so that when you touch this uh, hand icon it will go to the next image on the next image we have got a home icon use the touch control and basic touch and click on set to set the page switching set it to the home page that is a zero dot bmp now on the second image we have to uh, configure the uh, relay touch for this first use the icon display and then the variable icon draw a box on the relay one now to the right hand side is the properties if you want you can change the name to variable icon relay one main thing is the setting of the vp address set it to 5500 and select the icon file as 42.icl which we have already created click on minimum zero and select the icon id as the 0.png which is the off relay and uh, next is the uh, click on maximum as one and select the second icon which is the on relay no other setting is uh, here and uh, click on the variable icon to display the off uh, off relay icon now right click and then copy this variable icon paste it over the relay 2 
now over this relate to select the variable icon to the right hand side properties change the VP address to 5600 so only thing we have to change is the VP address so against this address only we will access this variable all other settings are same same way copy again and then paste it onto relay 3 change the VP address to 5700 you can uh, give any VP address from 0x500 to 0x FFFF same way again copy this and then paste it onto relay 4 change the VP address to 5800 so for relay 1 5500 second relay 5600 third 5700 and fourth is 5800 click on save and then execute it that is uh, from the first page you execute a separate window will open now click on relay 1 no action is there as we are not yet configured the touch now let us go to the touch control and select the increment adjustment and draw a box on the first relay and go to the properties to the right hand side now click on enable data uploading this is very important first thing is enable data uploading and then uh, set the VP address to 5500 which is for relay 1 already we have set it for uh, VP as 5500 set it to same and then click on low byte and adjustment type is uh, plus plus and that is adjustment method is plus plus and over limit operation is cycle and adjustment step length is one and finally the touch effect is disposable setting same way for the second relay again click on touch control and increment adjustment enable data auto upload and then set the VP address for the second relay which is 5600 and other settings same as that for the first relay that is a click on low byte adjustment uh, method is plus plus over limit operation is cycle adjustment step length is one and uh, touch effect is disposable setting so this uh, increment adjustment for the third relay you set the VP address as uh, 5700 and other settings same as that for the relay 1 and relay 2 finally for the fourth relay do the same setting and change the VP address to 5800 so this VP address is very main against this VP address only we will uh, write the value to the variable now finally click on save and then generate now go to preview a separate display will open now the touch effect is working click on first to change the icon from on and off now close this uh, window so for the third relay and fourth relay we have not enabled the uh, data auto upload so let us change it for the third relay data auto upload again for the fourth relay data upload again save and then generate so this data auto upload is very important otherwise you will not get the data to the the serial terminal now finally save and generate now let us format the sd card Ra put the sd card in a card reader right click and then format select the as fat 32 and then the cluster size is 4096 that is 4 kilobytes this is very important and then click on format once the format is over uh, remove the uh, before removing the sd card from the card reader you have to copy the dvin underscore set folder to the sd card drag and drop the dvin underscore set to the sd card and then remove the SD card from the card reader plug it down to the DWIN display now let us connect the power source to the DWIN display we are using external power source 5 volt 1 ampere connect the 5 volt to 5 volt and then ground to ground always use external power supply do not power it from the Arduino 
Now the data being downloaded, all the files being downloaded from the dvn underscore set onto the display. Now the configuration uh, file is automatic. We are not loaded configuration, so we are not getting the configure touch configuration. Now switch off the power, remove the SD card, and then again provide the power. Do not swap uh, SD card with power on. Now you can see your project being executed on the DVN display. According to the touch, the corresponding relay is switched on and off. Let us start the Arduino coding. Before that, let us understand the hex code that is available at the serial terminal of the display. For this, we will be using USB to TTL device. Connect it to the serial terminal of uh, display. Open the cool term software. Select the COM port and baud rate as 115200. Click on view hex and then click connect. Now if you touch on the DWIN display first relay, you will get this hex code. 5AA5 is the header, 06 is the number of bytes, 83 is a write command, and then 5500 is a VP address, 01 is the number of word we are getting, 0001 is the data, and uh, when you touch on uh, relay off, you get 00, and accordingly for this uh, relay 2134, we get the hex code. Now let us start the coding. In the Arduino code, first we define an array of type char. Total 9 bytes of hex data we receive. So always while defining an array, we declare one extra byte of data for null character. So uh, we define the buffer as of size 10. Next we define the digital pin assignments. Pin 6, 7, 8 and 9 are used to connect the uh, relays. And then under void setup, we start the serial.begin and then using the pin mode, we declare all the relays as output and initially we make it as high. As it is low enabled, high will make the relays off. Under the void loop, we check for the serial data. If serial data is available, we use the for loop to iterate from 0 to 8. That is the total, all 9 bytes of hex data are stored to the buffer array. And we use the uh, if statement to check the index 0. So the arrays are uh, uh, 0 based. So index 0 we check for the uh, header 5a. If it is 0x 5a, then we use the switch case statement uh, which is used to compare the value of uh, variable that is a switch variable to that of the case statement. So the switch variable we are using is buffer 4, that is the index 4. So if it is 5, 5, that is for the relay 1, if it is 5, 5, we check for the uh, index 8, that is the buffer 8. If it has the value 0, 1, then we switch on the relay. To switch on the relay, we use the digital write low. As it is low enabled, we use low to enable the relay and we use high to switch off the relay. Same way we check the for the case uh, 5, 6 that is for the relay 2 which is the VP address of the second relay and then again we check for the uh, case, uh, if statement that is the buffer uh, 8 and if it is 1 we switch on the relay if it is uh, other, otherwise we switch off the relay. Same way we will do it for the third relay and the fourth relay. We use the b end of each case is by uh, break, break keyword that is very necessary and after the loop we use this delay statement, yes small delay of 10 millisecond. This is very important otherwise the code will not execute, you will not get the result. This delay is very important. Now remove the wires at TX or S of Arduino and then select the board as Arduino you know and click on upload. Once the code is uploaded, let us do the connections for the relay board with Arduino. This relay board is low enabled and it has got 4 inputs that is IN12, IN4 and then 5 volt and ground there is a yellow jumper wire always always place the jumper for 5 volt operation connect IN1 to 
Arduino digital pin 6, IN2 to digital pin 7, IN3 to uh, 8 and IN4 to 9 and uh, always use a separate power source never use uh, Arduino power source to power up the relay 5 volt to 5 volt and then ground to ground connect all the grounds that is the ground of Arduino, ground of relay board and the ground of the DWIN display all to be made common this is very important otherwise the signal will not pass through so finally connect the uh, RX2 of DWIN to TX of Arduino and TX2 to RX this is after uploading while uploading the wire should not be there at the RX TX pins once the code is uploaded already we have uploaded the code now let us uh, reset and then uh, start the testing so according to the touch the relays will be on and off so each relay contact you can connect load and uh, use it for home automation thank you for watching